Here we go. What's up, guys? This is Merc Music. Welcome back to some more of the Modern Warfare 2 beta. I want to wait to make sure that we're actually live. I want to be able to say hi to everyone. There we go, yes. We are live with some more Modern Warfare 2. How is everyone doing? I was going to say, I want to wait. Yesterday's stream blew up. I just want to make sure. Yep. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. You guys ready to see some crazy stuff on Modern Warfare 2 today? Yes, there we go. There's everyone. <laughs> I wanted to thank you guys so much for yesterday's stream. We made it onto the gaming trending section, which is actually something that hasn't happened in quite a bit. And that's pretty huge. So I wanted to go live again. And I've got something pretty awesome for you guys today. We're going to be using some secret guns in Modern Warfare 2. So if you guys are excited to see that, make sure to drop a like on this stream and subscribe. That way if you, know, you don't miss out on any more stuff like this because this is going to be a really cool one. Lolborg, thanks for the super chat. That is insane. <laughs> Very much appreciated, man. But yeah, um, so I'm going to show you guys how you can get access to some of the locked guns in the Modern Warfare 2 beta. But before we dive into that, uh, just want to plug Code Merc for G Fuel 30% off until the 19th. Also, if you guys want to say hi to Karina, she's modding as usual. I don't know where Solba is. He, he would be modding too, but <laughs> I think he's asleep. So you can't wait to play this next weekend on Xbox? Yeah, I mean, I can't wait to play it on PC. It's like, it's it's been pretty good. Karina and I, we played way too much of the Modern Warfare 2 beta yesterday. And just, just trying to stay awake <laughs> at this point. That's why we got the G Fuel, just trying to, to keep going through it, play some more of the beta. Dakota, thanks for the super chat. Any word from Phase Boost on the beta? Well, Search and Destroy is in the game. So Phase Boost can go for some trick shots, but... I, I mean, I don't think I'll actually be playing Search. That, I feel like that's more of like an off-stream thing because you got like the procs chat and all that. But we, we're, we're doing something different on, on the game anyway today. So let me explain kind of how this all happened. So I was playing the Modern Warfare 2 beta with Karina yesterday. And out of the blue, she just got access to like a ton of different guns. And these are guns that are normally locked. I'll show you guys that in a sec. Zora, thanks for the super chat. Hope you and Karina are well. Thank you. Keep up the great work. That's, yeah, that's that's so nice. Thank you. Uh, Search and Destroy is right here. <laughs> it's literally right here. I saw someone say that it's not here. But yeah, no, it's it's literally right there. <laughs> but yeah, um, so let me show you guys kind of like what happened. So we were on the Modern Warfare 2 beta. And th these were some of my like my first couple of classes, right? I, I was using the FTAC Recon. Some of you guys in chat yesterday were saying to, to check it out. Um, and as far as it goes for quad feeds, I'm not trying to spoil too much, but let's just say that we had a really good day yesterday on the beta. It, it was good. It was good. So I was checking out the FTAC recon, like you guys suggested. Um, I think it's okay. I think it's maybe heavily dependent on the attachments, but I had that. The AK-74U is like the nerd gun of choice on the beta so far. It's way too easy. Kind of feels almost like uh, pre-nerf Black Ops 1 AK-74U. It's, uh, it's just like insanely good. So I had that and then I had the shotgun class. Um, so this is like all I was really using because if we actually go into a creative class, we have, you know, the, the Lockman is locked. Obviously, you can see some of them are, are unlocked now. We'll, we'll get to that. I'll show you guys how to do it. Also, uh, Yashi, thanks for the super chat. Um... I can't show camos. There are no camos in the game. I can show you what happens if you try to do that, but yeah, there's there's no camos being shown off yet. Um, but yeah, so there's guns like the TAC-56, the Lockman, um, Lockman 7.62. The, uh, the MP5 was actually one of the locked guns as well. Now, some of these guns that are locked away, um, people haven't figured how to get access to. Like the Signal 50, LMS, the MK2. You can use them on the default classes, but... You can't actually get them unlocked. You can't really use them. But Karina just accidentally got it unlocked. So then I, you, we were like doing some digging and stuff. So we figured out how to actually be able to get this. So I'm going to show you guys how you can get access to some of these other guns. I'll show you guys the classes that I started making after 
we kind of figured all this out. So, yeah. Hope you guys are excited for that. If you guys are playing the Modern Warfare 2 beta, this is what you're going to want to do if you want to get access to some of these guns that you otherwise can't get access to. Hey, what's up, Chad? Chad's here. But yeah, um, so let me show you guys. So you go to click create a loadout. And you would start off here with the Hunter Stalker kind of build. Also, wait, I forgot to show you guys the actual classes I have. So, like, yeah, here's, here's like, some of the guns that you can't normally get access to. Also, Joker, thanks for the super chat. But, yeah, um, so I have the Lockman 556. I've got the M16. I have the, the Rap H LMG. Got the 556 Icarus. And this is the class we just made. Um, I might, I don't know if I need to, yeah, let's just delete it. Let's, let's start that from the beginning so we can do like a, essentially the tutorial on how you're going to be able to get this. So you're going to click create a loadout, go to Hunter Stalker, and if you guys wanted to get Dead Silence on your class, this is how you do it too. I mean, personally, at least for like playing really aggressively and going for feeds and stuff, I feel like Battle Rage is extremely good. So Hunter Stalker, go ahead and equip that. And then for your primary weapon... You need to put on the Expedite 12 shotgun. It's not going to look like it's brand new or that I'm personally unlocking it because I've already done this. And I was already using the guns and I've already got them, like, leveled up a decent amount. So, use the Expedite 12. Go ahead and equip that. And on this package... Wait, hold up, hold up. Oh, did they change this? Oh, don't tell me they changed it. Because you have to have overkill. Yo, wait a second. Did they fix this? Oh my goodness, I think they might have... Did they fix the method? Hold up, hold up. Yeah, because you can... Okay, because you're supposed to have overkill, and then you can just uh, quickly switch the weapon. Huh. Maybe we can get around this. Let's see if we if we switch to Deadeye. Anything with overkill, though, should work. Maybe the perk packages I made. Let's equip that. Oh yeah, there you go. To be fair, as as far as it goes for uh, getting past it, I don't know if that'll still work. Because what this would allow you to do is it would let you pick... Um, I think it starts off with the Lockman 556. Then you have to level up the weapon. And when you start to level up certain guns, like they were saying when they revealed like the multiplayer and stuff, you would level up the receiver. And leveling up the receiver gets you access to other guns as well. Um, now, as far as it goes for this being intentional, like, yeah, here you go. See, here's the receiver right here. And as you can tell, uh, some of these Lockman guns, they still can't be unlocked. The LMS, the... I, I guess it says the 556. It's actually saying it's locked, but I have it equipped right here. The gun is literally right here. Um, is there a way you can get the scar? Uh, that I'm not too sure. Because if you look at some of these weapons, like the TAC-56, the platform, which is the receiver that you have to level up to start to get the gun, as you can see, it just it's blank. So, I'm not exactly sure if you can get some of these guns. Like, as you can see, I have access to the M16. The, it says the Lockman is, ironically enough, locked away. But I've, I've got it on this class. It's right here. So, once you have the first weapon, like the, the first gun that you typically can't access, once you have that equipped and you're using it in multiplayer and you level it up, then you can get access to some of these other guns. And I think the same thing goes for the, the Lockman sub, which is the MP5. And I believe that's also how you get the 556 Icarus and the Rap H. It's whatever guns that I made on some of my other classes that I've been using here. But it is, you know, a little restricted. But it does allow you to get guns that you otherwise would not be able to use on the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Um, I do want to try to, like, vet this real quick. Let's see if I can find it. Bear with me one second. Because we figured this out yesterday, but I saw, like, uh... Oh, yeah. No, it's the same. Yeah, Charlie Intel had a tweet. Um... Yeah, it's the same thing. It's, it's the same thing. You're, you'll have to change your perk package to something with overkill. I think initially when you had... The, uh, when you pick the Hunter Stalker uh, perk package, it had overkill. So you didn't have to do as much. It was actually extremely easy. But now you ha there's a little bit of an extra step. I, I just wanted to double check that and make sure I have everything completely squared off. But yeah, that's how it goes. 
Do I think Modern Warfare 2 will have supply drops? I, I hope not. Let's let's not go back. But yeah, um, hope you guys are excited to see some gameplay of these guns. These are guns that uh, most people are not using. Right, hold up. I gotta I gotta say hello to you guys. How we doing? I forgot to change something. Give me one sec. There we go. Just making sure we're good. If you guys were wondering, I, I threw on streamer mode. <laughs> I, I, I saw some of the names yesterday when I, I turned it off after stream. We're not chancing anything. <laughs> um, one thing I will do for this stream is later on, I'll put a timestamp to where I was showing off how to do this. So that way anyone coming back to the stream, you'll know exactly how to do it. Because I don't want to be re-explaining over and over again how you get like the M16 and stuff like that. Um... But just uh, real quick to explain it, once you do this little method of getting access to guns that you normally can't, you need to use the Lockman 556, level it up. The highest I think you can get is 19 out of 20. And then once you do that, you'll have access to the M16. It will just be unlocked. Oh, we got some Dom on farm. This is my favorite map so far. Just kidding. <laughs> this is actually going to make me just want to use the shotgun. Let's sweat it up. We're going we're gonna to use the M16. I actually, I think I had a really ugly sight on my M16 right now, and I want to take that off. There we go. Where's my class? I'm still having a hard time editing Gunsmith and all that. Oh, yeah, we have a thermal hybrid. You know what? I'm going to keep that on. This will be funny. So, yeah, uh, here's the M16. Like you can see in the thumbnail. Give it a little inspect. We got 60 rounds on it with a hybrid thermal. Reznazi, thanks for the super chat. I appreciate it, man. This is an ugly sight, by the way. This whole, like... Ah! <laughs> the plus sign. Hold up. Let's see if I get... I'll, I'll, I'll get the audio up a little bit louder. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I know I, know I had it, like, a little quiet. Here we go. Now, the M16... Oh. This man just teleport climbed. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to have to play a little bit more conservatively with the M16. It is pretty slow. Rushes into the middle and dies to a shotgun. <laughs> Donnie, thanks for the super chat. How's it going? Oh, I can't use the javelin. Because to, to be able to have access to these guns, you have to run overkill. Toggle the thermal! What? Who am I shooting? Moist headshot. Oh, let's get that dead silence on. Ah! The shotgun's in the middle. <laughs> I, well, I know the javelin's in the default classes, but we're going to be using the secret guns. Oh. Ah! Flashbang! Bruh. Ah! Oh my god, there's too many people there. Wait, the javelin was broken? Was that how you did the prisoner's rescue uh, glitch thingy? Because I, I heard some stuff about that. But I, I didn't actually know how to do it. Michael, thanks for the super chat. Looks like Black Ops 2 drone and COD 4 pipeline. I'm trying to think. Yeah, it, it actually does kind of make me think of drone. I think it, at least like the, uh, the aesthetic of the map for sure. Bro, I was just waiting. Waiting to die. Ooh. There you go, there you go. Ah. It is so hard to be aggressive with the M16. Aggressive M16 in this game is hilarious. Maybe more so for you guys, because I'm just going to be dying a lot. Ooh, the drill charge through the middle. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't have to use overkill to use the MP5 or M16? Mmm. Maybe once you have it unlocked. It depends on whether or not it's going to bypass the whole, uh, the unlock thingy. There we go. Ah, uh, I don't want to die. I would love to get another shotgun quad. That'd be dope. I hit a better one. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? That's actually my first execution. I've, I've never gotten one. I really wanted to do that. Oh. Oh. Woo! <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, okay, so the drill charges at B are actually so helpful. Like, people who are just kind of sitting around in that one area, it's a good way to get them out. Oh, come back. There we go. Oh, come on, split quad. Someone please. No, it's way gone. Did I have a quad there? Chat, let me know. Nathan, thanks for the super chat. You missed phase boost? Phase up, bro. Phase boost hasn't gone anywhere. Oh my. I got the thermal now. Ah! Take it off. <laughs> this thermal hybrid is so goofy. Oh, also, something that we were talking about yesterday on the stream was slide canceling. There's a lot of talk about slide canceling because so many people were like, oh, you could do it in Modern Warfare 2019. And it's not in this game. So the game's dead now. It's officially dead. Well, oh, I, I tried to do it. That didn't work out. <laughs> this, uh, the site's a hybrid thermal, like a holographic thermal hybrid. I put it on actually purely for the thumbnail, but I'm just, I'm going with it. But yeah, you can slide cancel in the game, apparently. Uh, slide, aim. I, I did the wrong thing. Slide, aim, thingy. What was it? You slide, aim, melee, ADS, something like that? I don't know. I just did it, though. Am I going to find myself doing that all the time? Probably not, but you can do it if you want. Hey, there you go. I already got someone through the wall. They just want to camp at B. Oh. Also, I have a care package. I haven't called it in yet. See, you can kind of slide cancel. I, I don't know if that's as good as, like, how people want it. Oh, okay. He was just waiting. Hey, Solpa's here. What's up? Is the game worth it? I think it is. But that's because I like Modern Warfare 2019. And we got kind of a refined version of that. Where there's still slide canceling, see? No! Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> oh, it's just UAV. <laughs> Man's just laying down. Oh my goodness. The B flag camping. They don't want to lose it. Maybe we should br uh, bust out the shotgun. Got the drill charge in case anyone's hiding there with ghosts. All right, no one is there, actually. Somehow. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. We gotta go in there with a full shotgun. <gasps> Charge! Boy! Oh. Oh! Oh! One more! Why is there no one? No! <laughs> the hit marker at range! Yo, we almost had the shotgun quad. Does the drill charge work on any surface? Uh, that might need to be saved for a future Mythbusters, I'd say. Because, I mean, it works, it seems to work through basically everything. I know, I know, Chad, I was one off. Yo, so, the way that I know if a Call of Duty game is good or not, <laughs> which is really funny, is basically how much I lose my voice while playing it. Because if I care enough to be raging and going for feeds and all that stuff, <laughs> Karina with the F. <laughs> F's in the chat for failing that quad, but yeah. Um, if I care enough about the game to actually be getting mad while trying to, like, you know, do well and hit feeds and stuff, then I know it's good. And that was 100% the case last night. I honestly thought I was going to be waking up today, getting ready to stream, and not having a voice. I, I really thought I was gonna, it was going to be like the Black Ops 3 when I had no, like, literally no voice and I had the little Wayne laugh. I was like, <laughs> like, no laugh left. That was so great, you know, and uh, depending on how it goes after stream, however much voice I have left after this stream, we'll see. Oh my! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I feel like my laugh's already getting there. I I'm, I'm already starting to lose it a little bit. Bro, thought they had last stand for a second. They, they didn't want to die. Ah, I walked right into that. Just charged on in. 
Oh, wow. We lost miserably, dude. They, they really held B. Am I excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I am... I, I'm gonna be playing the game. Oh, wait, oh, wait, was this a quad? I, I can't remember if this was a quad from earlier. We, wait, that was triple. Guys, I think we actually had a split quad with the M16. Because I got a kill at, wait, no, I didn't get a kill after that. Maybe I did, I don't know. I remembered, like, I remember looking at the kill feed and I thought something was up. I thought I had more kills. We'll see, we'll see. I'll have to watch it back later. Excuse me. Does the M16 feel like COD 4's M16? Um, so here's the thing. As I'm sure you could tell from the gameplay too. <laughs> Mega F from Korea. <laughs> I did get the split. Okay, okay. Well, someone's gonna have to clip it or someone's gonna have to go back. I I'm definitely gonna be going back. I'm, I'm taking note of all the quad feeds or potential quad feeds I've been hitting, but yeah. The M16, as far as it goes for how it feels, as I'm sure you can tell by the many hit markers and, and stuff like that, it doesn't feel great. Yeah, it's definitely fun to use. Like, it, it's fun to have access to these guns. But the M16 honestly doesn't feel amazing. Maybe we'll use a different gun. Maybe I'll use the uh, the Lockman 556. MPS variant slaps? If you're talking about the MP5. um, So, I kind of had mixed feelings when I got the MP5 unlocked. Which is like the, the Lockman sub. Um... I felt like the MP5 was just kind of like a hit marker machine. Yeah, let's, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and mix it up. We're gonna use the Lockman 556. Are noob tubes viable? <laughs> I don't think you can actually get, uh, noob tubes. But if you can, uh, someone please explain. Cause that'd be hilarious. I'm, I'm gonna go shotgun. Ah! I wasn't expecting the second person. But yeah, we're gonna be using the Lockman 556. Let's get an inspect. Got the 60 rounds on it. That's my favorite part about having access to some of these guns is that they have larger magazines. Oh. Bro. Oh. Back here. Fine, don't get back here. That's not mine. Oh. Woo! We gotta wake up. Oh, thought I heard someone up top. Oh. Buddy. Oh my goodness. Okay. So hold up. Have you, have you guys noticed something about some of the, uh, like when people kill you in Modern Warfare 2? Like, usually in most gunfights you would see someone and they're aiming their gun and like they, you can see them aiming at you. But I noticed in Modern Warfare 2, like, you'll notice some of the players, for whatever reason, when they're ADS, they're like, at an angle. I don't know why that, that just like messes with my brain. Because it feels like, ooh. Feels like they're not really looking at you. Still trying to comprehend that. I know you're coming. Nope. Get those jump shots out of here. Covering your six. Guy just sitting there. Okay. Logman five five six is nasty. Ah! Okay, these guys want B. We're gonna have to fight for B the whole game. <laughs> That's usually how this map goes. Alright, I'm gonna throw this gear gauge down. Let's get that. Shank, shank. Oh. Got someone over here. I wanna get a cross map drill charge. Like, you throw it straight up, and it just somehow gets. Ooh, we got the stealth bomber. That won't kill anyone because they're at B, but let's let's just drop it. We're going for it. Should have been dead. Stellar, thanks for the super chat. Nitro, thanks for the super chat as well. I'm enjoying it. That self bomber got. Okay, I got one kill. It's about par par for the course. Ooh, hold up, hold up. Oh -ha! See, when the shotgun gets a hit marker, it freaks me out. Like, that's not supposed to exist. That's not supposed to happen. That is a nasty head glitch. Alright. Well, at least we got B. Ooh! On go, teammate! Oh. 
We already got split. All right, we'll we'll go around over here. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, the hit marker point blank. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god. There's a. Uh, I had some success with the shotgun yesterday, but also a lot of pain. A lot of pain trying to use the shotgun. But you know, it is it, the shotgun, like the one they give you. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be like the god shotgun of the game by any means. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can't wait to see the 725 come back. Ah! Wait, you can get the noob tube on the M16? Huh. Well, maybe I need to have it leveled up enough. Hold up. Let me give that a look. Because if there's a noob tube that I can use, I will, I will absolutely use it. I need to be able to turn my brain off because of how much I've been, like, tryharding the last 24 hours. Is it the underbarrel? <gasps> oh, thank you so much! Oh my god, yes! I'm taking off that thermal, and we're putting on the noob tube. Guys, we're, you, you're going to see it here first. We have the first Modern Warfare 2 2022 noob tube gameplay. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, that, that, oh my god, we'll give that noob tube an inspect. Look at that. Oh. Well, we were looking at it. it. It's noob tubing time. Who's ready to go back to some original Modern Warfare 2? All we need is one-man army, and the game's complete. I actually love that they have an inspect for when you have the noob tube out. Because if we just go back... See? We have a different inspect for the base weapon. Infinity Ward, why are you so good? Alright, we, we really gotta see how this noob tube... I, I can't wait to noob tube, dude. <laughs> Signio, thanks for the super chat. Thoughts on the gunsmith? It, it is confusing at first, but, um... <laughs> oh, you have to manually reload. Okay, okay. But yeah, um, I was gonna say, gunsmith is something that you definitely get used to. Everything in this game is a little bit different, but, y you know, you get used to it. Now, as far as it goes for the UI being kind of confusing and hard to navigate, which is, uh, I think a pretty valid complaint, I I'm sure it's something they'll work on. They don't want the game to be hard to use and navigate. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, thank you for the noob tube help, though. Oh my god. This is gonna be fun. Everyone out here wanting to use the AK-74 you and sweat me? I've got a noob tube. <laughs> Alright, still get a shot in the back. They're gonna go for the flat? Dude, yeah, this team is getting destroyed. Come on. Can't keep. <laughs> I knew <to> them. <laughs> oh, cross map. Okay, okay. Let's see. If that actually hits someone. I'm gonna freak out. Oh, wait, it just air bursted. Look at that. Oh no. Oh, it hit. The okay, it hit the sign. Looks like you can't necessarily get cross map noob tubes. Also, they got a chopper gunner, so this is gonna be brutal. Maybe we can noob tube it out of the sky. Or I'll just get shot in the back. <laughs> I do not want to... Let's not have the Street Sweeper. At least don't name it that. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with an AA-12. Oh, my. Oh. How's the footstep audio? I mean, I feel like it's pretty easy to hear footsteps. I think people will be happy to know that if you do this method of getting the secret guns, that you'll have access to Dead Silence on any of the uh, custom classes. But one thing I do want to say is that I don't feel like Dead Silence is everything. I, I think Battle Rage is actually the best... Uh, especially for uh, respawn game modes and just general aggressive play. I feel like that's really the way to go. Because you get instant, or at least near instant, it feels like health regeneration. Which is amazing. Amazing. Dude, I'm getting spawn trapped so hard. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that should have been a direct impact. Ooh, hold up, hold up. That's dope! Karina was, uh, sh she was telling me that uh, we're the number two Modern Warfare stream right now on YouTube. That's awesome. Oh, I think I got an EOD hit marker. Let's go, boys! Yeah. Walk into it. We could just hang out at B with a shotgun. It works. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, I got that you have. Dead silence. They coming? Nope! Oh, ah, he's behind. Tosi, thanks for the super chat. What are, what are my thoughts on the two perks and two two bonus perks? I think it's different. Obviously, it's different. Um, takes some getting used to and understanding how it works in the actual matches and stuff. I I think it's interesting because it seems like they actually wanted to kind of stray away from perks and not have perks be as prevalent. But yeah, um, house. Oh god, house sniping, dude. Don't- I don't want to talk about sniping because I almost had a signal 50 quad feed and I hit markered the fourth person and I- Part of my soul died when that happened. <laughs> Where's the Vanguard videos? Yeah, there will only be one more Vanguard video. You already know what it is. We got our first direct impact. Let's go. It's on their best player. Oh my goodness. Also, if I don't sound as hype, it's because- I'm definitely losing my voice. <laughs> my voice will be gone. I don't even care. I'm, I'm just too happy. Oh. Thought for sure someone was going to be coming from there. We got A back. Ooh. Oh, there were three there. Come on. Hey, King Rich, thanks for the resub. Which, by the way, if you guys want to join the channel, it's greatly appreciated. You get custom emotes, get access to the Merc Music Discord, future open lobbies and stuff like that. You know, just, just throwing it out there, just a little suggestion. By no means necessary, but if you want to. Oh, he's got the UAV, he knows I'm there. <laughs> Karina says when I uh, lose my voice, I'll get a bell like Hector. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. When I hit the quad feed, I'll just be over here. <laughs> Ooh. Another noob tube kill. You love to see it. I'm so happy that I have a noob tube now. If there is ever a chance that there's just a group of four people standing around and they get a quad noob tube, I will be so happy. The M16 is actually so bad though. <laughs> ah, and we lost. All good though. <laughs> Merc Salamanca. But yo, I got completely distracted with the noob tube. I'll have to try another game with the Lockman 556, so that way you guys can check it out. I want to try to use every single secret gun that I currently have access to. And I think that's going to uh, include needing to make another MP5 class. <laughs> Crimson Zombie saying that there is a secret weapon in the hotel map called the Bruin 45. How do you get access to that, though? It's like a wall buy and zombies you can just buy it off the wall because <laughs> i don't know how you do that i don't know how you get it but yeah well uh i'll, I'll throw on the mp5 i want to see someone said that you don't need overkill maybe once you unlock it so let's make a brand new class we'll go ahead and do the hunter stalker oh yeah i do have it okay sweet so I, okay i can make a different mp5 class one that doesn't need overkill we got the market map mercado <laughs> Merc Mercado Los Alamos. <laughs> oh my god. I'm stupid. But yeah, I'm gonna use the Lockman 556. We're gonna try to hit on, on uh, this map. Here we go. Where do you know the spot? Come on. Oh, they're gonna beat me to it. We almost got quadded by Lopez. Come on, son. Woo! This is the scariest part of the map right here. Ah! Lopez again. <laughs> Hit a trick shot with the javelin. Now, how do you do that? Please explain to me how that's gonna happen. Come on. I want B. Ah, there's two! <laughs> Couldn't see him to the dead body. <laughs> uh. Ah! I wasn't even close to it! Oh, hold up. 
Put up the dead silence. I, I don't want to fight that guy. I don't want to. Where are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> That's crazy. Lockman hits pretty hard. I, I think it's decent. That's the best part about streaming, though, is that you get to see, uh, you get to see all the good and all the bad for how these games play out. Oh, my God. Up close, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna lose out of certain guns. As far as it goes for time to kill in Modern Warfare 2, the, what I've noticed, especially because we only have access to so many attachments, is that the guns seem to fall into the, like, the roles that they should pretty nicely. Like, the SMGs destroy up close. They really do. But the assault rifles, I feel like, are just all around gonna be the best choice. Like they, you know, typically are. But I'm sure when the full game's out, you'll be able to build them differently. And you can, you know, you can build your assault rifles to be more aggressive or less aggressive. Come on, bro. Oh, let's have a mount fight. <laughs> he lost it. I'm the supreme la uh, mounter leaner. Okay, I got distracted. Well, thanks for joining Boost Bunglers. Very much appreciated. Fast Hans. I got my Fast Hans unlocked. Bro. No one's there. Where are they? He's just standing around. Are they still taking it? What the? Dude. I want to try to hit with the Lockman 556 for you guys. Bro's just standing around. I know you're here. Ay ay ay. <laughs> Patrick, thanks for the super chat. Any full quads yet? Um, not so far today. There were many yesterday. I some on stream. And then even more. Well, not streaming. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, I I think one thing you'll notice for sure, you'll see it happening right now, but also when you play, is that everyone's beta experience is gonna be different too. Like, some of that is going to have to do with skill-based matchmaking. Some of it is going to have to do with people like this who play the beta in such a way that kills your soul. <laughs> like, dude's mount... Like, are you are you going for a long shot? Like, it's like he's preparing for camo, like the camo grind. When there's no camos to grind for. And we're in a beta. I don't think any of this is transferring, right? Oh. Hey there, buddy. Oh. These guys are so cautious. It's, 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 yeah. It's gonna ruin the way that I play because I like to play aggressive. Let's take a teammate. Let's go. Well, let's just trip cap them. I don't think they know how to play the objective anyway. Come on. Ah! I almost had it. Got ahead of myself. All right, we got the trip cap. Let's go. Is free for all the beta? No. Uh, the only thing I saw that got added was search and destroy. How was that guy up there? Ugh, these guys know like all the camping spots already. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say uh, spawns in in the beta. They uh, they did kind of make it, in my opinion, kind of like ghosts where. Um, the spawns are not as predictable, especially in Dom. Like, people just be spawning all over the place. Can't necessarily say I'm, I'm the biggest fan of the spawns being, like, kind of random. Like, there's not as much flow. But that could also be dependent on the maps. Dude, hit marker machine. Michael, thanks for the super chat. Dr. Phil, thanks for the super chat as well. <laughs> Pizza time! Oh my god, that was so funny at the COD Next event with all the Little Caesars. <laughs> like, trying to feed people pizza, they're just trying to play the game. He's like, oh, thanks for the pizza. I don't want to eat it, though. Trying to hit clips! Okay. <laughs> this lobby is going to be difficult. I, I, I know that. 
Oh, there, there he goes again with the broken neck. <laughs> Walking around. <laughs> we got a guy here. Where'd he go? Is he upstairs. He's here. Ah, they're taking C. What? Oh my goodness. One thing I did want to mention when it comes to spawns, for sure, is we we just had a trip cap going. So the spawns are going to be, you know, like, kind of wacky. Also, John, thanks for the super chat. Um, yeah, there is an out-of-the-map glitch on this map, by the way. I I have tried it just for the sake of educational purposes. I, I don't think it's a great idea to do on stream. But <laughs> there's an, <laughs> there's an out-of-the-map glitch. They need to fix it. Let me... Uh, I, I won't fully do it, but if I don't get shot, let me... There we go, okay. Yeah, the out-of-the-map glitch is right here. Oh, okay. The out-of-the-map glitch is right here. You, uh, you crouch jump. Wait, oh, did they fix it? Oh, no, they didn't. Yeah, uh... Hello. My goodness. Sin, thanks for the super chat. Uh, what am I hoping about for the camo grinds? Um... I mean, I, I hope that there's not a hundred mount kills required for every single gun. Yeah, um, that, that glitch is super easy to do. Um, I obviously do not actually use it and exploit it. The, the thing I would recommend is... Oh. I mean, at most, just show how it's done and then ask for it to be fixed. But it's funny because there's like always something weird like that in every single beta for Call of Duty. It's like the recurring joke. I like I always get under the map in one way, shape, or form in every single Call of Duty beta. <laughs> it's just so funny. Edwin, thanks for the super chat. You said you're from South Africa. Kick their butts. I I'm definitely trying to, but this is this has been a weird lobby. Not gonna lie, it has been a little weird. I hope it comes around, because sometimes that happens, you know. There's so many games I played last night where there weren't any actual good opportunities, especially for, like, feeds and stuff. Nothing was happening until, like, seven to eight minutes in. Everything was always starting to get, like, good at the end of the game, and then the game would end a couple minutes later, and I'm just, like, I'm so, so upset about it. <laughs> How do people find these spots to get out of the map? Dude, I don't know. I, I don't know. Ever, ever since, like, out-of-the-map glitches and all this crazy stuff. I... Part of me thinks that, uh... I, I don't know if it's people who actually know how to map. Like, how to actually make maps and stuff. If they're able to dig into the code and find things or, or anything like that. I don't know. There's also just generally things like, you know, like the crouch jumps and, and uh... Basically, I feel like finding out-of-the-map glitches and, and things like that... It involves a lot of rubbing up against the side of the map. And trying to see what you can potentially get away with. And especially if there are any in-game exploits. Kind of like how uh, Modern Warfare 3 you had like the Riot Shield care package lunges and stuff. Sometimes people just, they, they discover this stuff. Also, Max, thanks for the super chat. What do I think they'll be bringing back from older Modern Warfares? I mean, we already got the Javelin. We got third person mode. Which I hope they drop that in the beta sometime soon. Edwin, thanks again for the super chat. How do I feel about no red dots on the minimap? Um, well, technically there kind of are. I know I know it's not OG, like, classic minimap, and I know everyone wants it back. Um, to a degree, I do as well, because I, I do prefer, I guess, kind of the Call of Duty mentality of, like, if you're shooting an unsuppressed weapon, you show up on the minimap, so if you want to hide, you gotta put one on, and that's obviously gonna hurt your, your damage output a little bit. I, I feel like it protects people who who don't want to run a suppressor and it gives them the gunfight advantage and they're just, I don't know. It does add a lot of confusion to the mix, I feel like. Oh, here we go. Hold up. Oh, no. Ah, they're too far away. We's already split. Bruh? Ooh. Ah! I thought it could be like hidden enough behind the uh <laughs> the deployable barricade. But yeah, um, so if you guys wanted to know a little a nice little tip 
the bird's eye perk is amazing. Towards the end of the game, you just start getting free advanced UAVs. I don't think I currently have it on. I, I don't know why I don't. What am I using instead? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this... I don't know if this class has hardline or something, but... but that, that's the other thing, too, though, is that people have been running counter UAV, so, I mean... What are you gonna do about that? Then you have no minimap. Oh. oh. <laughs> nope. Dude, I love that last stand is back. Wait. Yo, we lost 201 to 200? What? Oh my god. Am I using score streaks or kill streaks? I, I, honestly, I don't know. Excuse me. I, I I don't know exactly how that works for uh, objective game modes or just team deathmatch. No, I agree. I agree that classic minimap should be back, though. 100%. Because every other aspect of the game will still play out better. It's just that it's not... I don't know. Does the does this new minimap reward camping or does it reward rushing? Because if you think about it, you're able to run around the map with an unsuppressed powerful weapon and people don't know where you are. So you get to kind of be stealthy. I, I don't know. I, I, it's like hard to say if like one is better than the other. I mean... Obviously, the simple thing to do is just say classic minimap is better, just bring it back. But I want to know from a game design standpoint if it's supposed to reward camping or if it's supposed to reward rushing. Yes, this is live. <laughs> Glorpin' Florpin. <laughs> Gloppin' doopin'. Yeah, I um I want to take a sec to work on a class real quick. I I'm gonna make a I'm gonna try to make a beast MP5 class. Because now I don't have to run overkill. So we got the MP5. I'll, I'll, I'll mess with attachments in a sec. Uh, shock, shock charge, which is hilarious. Drill charge. Um, which package am I using? Quick fix is pretty good. This is what I'm talking about. This is like my go-to perk package, by the way. If you guys wanted uh, perk recommendations, if you're a rusher. Um, so we got double time. We got EOD, quick fix, and bird's eye, which this is the one I was talking about. It says, the minimap is zoomed out. UAV and radar pings reveal the enemy's direction. Uh, and when you earn it, you actually, because it's an ultimate perk, you have to actually earn it. Um, it pings the enemies on the minimap. So you basically get an advanced UAV towards the end of the game. Russo and Edwin, thanks for the super chats. Um, yeah, the pacing, to me at least, I, I feel like it is a more viable rushing game. I think they looked at Modern Warfare 2019, they heard the feedback, and they adapted the game for that. For sure. Um... But again, it's just the beta. We have to see how the full game is going to play out for sure. Do, do I feel like this game in Warzone 2 has potential? Absolutely. Absolutely it does. Oh, I didn't switch my package. Hold up. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going with the first one, the quick fix. That, that's what I like. And I'll, I'll leave the dead silence. Now let's, let's build the MP5. I, I'm curious to know, anyone who's been... Uh, if anyone watching is playing the beta and they they did this, this little method of getting the secret guns, what attachments do you guys like? Because I'm going to build it. You only get five attachments, but I, I like to go to 50 rounds. Um, the hollow points, it says it gives you crippling power, but it also reduces your bullet velocity and bullet pen. And I'm not seeing any... Okay, no, there's a stat change. Uh, the damage goes up. The pineapple. The, this one is hilarious for the LMGs. It actually makes the LMGs super accurate. Um, I don't really want to throw on the, uh, the sound. Sir. Actually, wait. Ooh, that's not bad. Pulls back on the damage a little bit. I like. Yeah, I think this barrel is good because it increases your bullet velocity and damage range and the hip fire too. Um, unfortunately, you can't get a laser. Um. They just have a flashlight for now. Game King, thanks for the super chat. Yeah, I was going to say uh, smaller maps as well. You know, we're not playing Shipman and Shoot House in this beta. We're playing the the more regular size maps, like the medium size maps, you know. Edwin, thanks again for the super chat. And Water, thanks for the super chat as well. I I've seen so many people asking, like, what do I rate Modern Warfare 2? Again, guys, this is just the beta. This isn't the game. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're getting a snippet of the game. The, the fact that you have to do, like, 
a certain method to get access to more of the guns and play more of the game, I think says a lot about how much you'll actually get access to, like how much you can do. Um, but so far, I've got to add like an 8 or 9 out of 10. I really enjoy this beta. For what we have so far, this is very enjoyable. I think I'm going to go no stock. I'm even... Oh, God. Yo, my accuracy and recoil control. Whoo. I will only be able to get like up and close to people with this build. That'll be hilarious. Um, maybe this will help, though. I'll kind of balance it out. I don't know. This is the build I've got for the MP5. Uh, we're just going to wing it. We're going to go for it. Hopefully, I get a map that will be good for it as well. See, I, I feel like the SMGs, if we had, like, Shipment and Shoot House, they would be shredding. They'd be so good. The No Sock has more visual recoil. Okay, okay. Man, I have not had enough of this G Fuel. I'm waking up, though. We're waking up. Yes, only five attachments. Not this ten attachment insanity that was Vanguard. I, I think that's better, too. Like, I don't know ex exactly how everyone feels about it. But in Vanguard, when you have 10 attachments, it, it feels like the only work you have to put into it is like, okay, well, which attachment in this category is the best? Put that on, and then go to the next one. You're always just picking the best thing for every category. And that that can't necessarily be good for balance because it's like, there's there's no consequences. You just pick everything, make the best gun, and you use it. Whereas when you only can pick it five attachments out of ten, then you have to start really thinking about the choices that you're making. I like that. That's how you get a, a more balanced game. SDM, thanks for the super chat. Hollow points, slow the target, and disable sprint. Ooh, okay, okay. Going for that starting quad. Come on, let's get it. Ooh. AFK? <laughs> He's not playing yet. Still picking his class? Game King, thanks again for the super chat. Yeah, I mean, small to medium-sized maps, you already know. That's what we like to see. Oh, this man. <gasps> He's got the broken the broken buckle. Karina was showing, showing uh, this to me. <laughs> Is that soap? I think that was soap. I don't have the, the special predator that gives you, like, price and ghost, and I think Farah as well. So, I don't have everyone. So, I'm sorry if I get their names wrong. I really haven't looked that much at, like, the, the operators and, like, that kind of customization. Oh. Try to creep up on me. Ooh. Hey there, buddy. That man went flying. That was nice. You, if you ever need to get a quick reload... I was going to try to hide in there. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I was going to try to actually hide in there so I could get my reload safely. Oh, that would have been bad. That would have been really bad. Why am I even trying to show this? Oh, Quinn, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the super chat, man. Is phase Boost making an appearance this year? Oh, my God. Phase Boost S&D video? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, we got the MP5. Oh, I didn't even get to inspect it. Here you go. Look at that. Looking nice. Don't shoot ready for <laughs> Yo! AC-130, ready for your deployment. I repeat, AC-130, ready for deployment. Let's get some AC-130 hype! I haven't used it yet, don't judge me. I love care packages. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay, this is different. There's also no one... Oh. No one to kill yet. Blow up the market. Dude, could you imagine if this game had destruction like Bad Company 2? Oh my god. You start tearing up the map. Does everyone have, like, cold-blooded or something? I can't see anyone. Oh, I see. They, they show up as, like, uh... Like, white squares at first. Then they become red. Ah, uh, low fuel? No! Best AC-130 gameplay! Let's go! Two kills! We're out of fuel. Dang. <laughs> Game King, thanks again for the super chat. Oh yeah, the, the slide cancel is back. It's not something I really did in Modern Warfare 2019, but... I'm, I, I've started to do it now in this game. Now that we brought an awareness to it. Because 
Sick jump shot, bro. Let's go. Edwin, thanks again for the super chat. <laughs> Brayden and Melvin 1v1. Oh my goodness. Oh, he was just right there. Okay, okay. Let's get B. Come on, son. Nice. Oh, that's a teammate. Oh, they're back here. I think. Oh my. <laughs> this is not hardcore. I, I, I don't think that you can play hardcore at all. If I could, I would. Is there a guy over here? I feel like I'm having such a hard time actually finding people. And that's why. We got the dude camping up there. <laughs> How do I feel about time to kill in this game? I, I feel like it's ultimately fair, depending on the weapon you're using. It really is heavily dependent on the gun that you have and what range you're at. Like, one thing I've noticed is that um, SMGs definitely seem to struggle more at range. The ranges that they probably shouldn't be as good at. Which is interesting, because it, it kind of makes the game almost feel more like Battlefield. Where you, like, try to use an SMG at range, and it's just like, it's not going to do it. Also, I will not be camping. No. We're going for flags. We're running around. Trying to hit feeds. Ooh. These enemies actually play super campy, though. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. The other thing, too, is the MP5's got a nasty hip fire. Got the bird's eye. Oh, there's a sniper right there. Uh-oh. Ah, flash button. Oh, I'm going around. Am I? No. We're gonna push. No, uh, <laughs> I wanted. I wanted to get past. I didn't want to mess with that guy. I think I had a split M16 uh, quad feet earlier, but I cannot verify that. I don't. I still don't know yet. But yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm out here trying, man. I, I am. Oh. Ah. We got the the glints they're watching mid. You know, I can't blame them. That's actually how I almost hit the sniper quad feed last night. Oh. They're just camping on us right now though. I'm I'm struggling to get out. Maybe we'll go for C. What is what is going on? Let's get a flag, come on! They got us trip capped. Oh, the hunger. Ah, I haven't eaten today. <laughs> I just want to play the game. Oh, we got another bird's eye. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Yo, he dude's actually quick scope with the signal 50. Let's go. I thought that he, that he might have had the, the MK2. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This game is getting brutal. Killstreak.exe? Is that supposed to happen? What? Get that off my screen! What? What is this? What? Why is this stuck on my screen? No! I don't like this. I'm already having a, a hard enough time getting spawn trapped. Uh, okay. Please be gone. Please be gone. It's not gone. Bro, I might actually leave this game. It's already bad. I want a better game. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't play with that. No, no. <laughs> That's like having, uh, like a semi-permanent, uh, what's it called? System hack from Advanced Warfare on the screen. I, I I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> Killstreak got exe picture. I'm good. I'm good. There definitely have been some things that are a little wacky, but it, it's a beta. Like, I think uh, one thing that Karina and I noticed when we were playing yesterday is the server's actually kind of getting, like, like really uh, overloaded. And when you play games, I don't know if you guys saw this, but, like, you'd be in the middle of a gunfight, and things would, like, go into slow motion because the server's, like, trying to play catch-up with what's going on. 
I don't know if that's a PlayStation thing or if it's just the servers being stressed, but that was, uh, it was very interesting to see. <laughs> also, I think I might have some better luck with the MP5 on farm. But some of that's also going to depend on whether or not they're using shotguns. If they're using shotguns mid, then it's, it's still going to be tough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Karina said LMGs lagged the game, too. That was hilarious to me. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to replicate that. Because I don't know if there's as many people playing. Compared to, like, when it was first dropped. Maybe that'll happen again when the uh, the open beta goes live, but let's see if I can do it real quick. Let's we'll we'll bust out the Icarus. We're gonna I'm gonna show you guys one of the LMGs that you can't normally use. Right now, I think it's the 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 Saken or the something like that. That's the only LMG we have. The 556 Icarus here. Look at that beautiful inspection. Oh yes. Can't wait to put a target finder on this in camp. That's actually a pretty neat inspection. All right, let's just go ahead and unload this thing. Never mind. Okay, we're not gonna do that. But yeah, basically what was happening is I would I was just spraying the LMG, and I noticed that in the middle of firing it, it would actually just like stop. Like it would freeze for a little bit, then come back. And I, I don't know what that was about. I think it could have just been that there were so many people playing that the servers couldn't handle it. Okay, we gotta get B. Oh, there's a shotgun here. Oh, God. Bro. I'm no! <laughs> Wait, I'm still alive? Dude. That was a nasty triple. And then the fourth got away. Damn. Ah. Uh, the struggle. The struggle's real. We gotta keep it going. Skip. B. Ah, my own shock stick. <laughs> yeah, that. that. <laughs> back to back triples. Fourth guy comes out, and I'm I'm already just too I'm too low. Oh, that's a teammate. That's another thing. Uh, with the lack of factions and stuff, it it can be pretty hard to tell who your teammates are and who the enemies are for sure. For sure. I want to mess some people up with this MP4. I'm taking damage. As long as that's not an enemy one, huh? Yeah, see the animation was kind of like lagging there. That's what I was saying. With the game potentially, potentially getting a little overloaded. We got, come back to B. Come back. Come back. Oh. Oh. Dude, this thing shreds up close. I was so happy that we got farm. It's not gonna melt like a shotgun will with the instant delete, but. I'm just messing with them at B. Come to the middle. What? Oh, he's got the MP5 also. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Uh, for the beta, you will only probably need one hard drive since it's 35 gigs for the full game. That's to be seen. Oh no. Ooh, we about to get quadded though. Maybe? Now see, that's what I'm saying, like, that guy probably wants to go on for a, a bigger streak, but then we spawn out over here. They get him, they got him. Lit. Ah, he's leaning. Oof. Does that help to come back? <laughs> he's jumping around with a shotgun, let's go. Okay, so we are what? Yeah, we're a little over an hour. I will I will show you guys again 
I'll, I'll do like the, my quick little tutorial on how you get the secret guns again. Because, I mean, that was an hour ago. How do you dolphin dive? You have to hold your dive button. If you want to slide, you just tap it. Like that. Was there a guy up here? Yeah, there was. Oh, why do people go? I don't get why people actually go into this building. I, I don't. There's no objectives here. You're just you're just wasting everyone's time. Ah. Let's get B. Come on. That drill charge actually hit that man. Oh. See, one thing I don't get is like, if the enemies only have B, how come they don't spawn at B? Like they really don't. Ooh. Okay, they're spawning A though. I'm gonna wait for them. I'm waiting for you, lads. Oh. Ooh. Quick fix. I know you're here. Oh, that was lagging. Oh. I got like a dragon. Again. You coming through? He is. Welcome. Ah! He already died. Woo! Ah, dude, I, I had the reaction time and everything. We were, we were going in there. Got a care package. Let's drop it in. Yeah, you, you, yo, this is exactly what I was talking about. You, you can see the lobby's lagging a little bit. What's good? Game, come back to me. Things are going to be looking all wonky. Oh, counter UAV. Okay, okay. Solid copy. Counter UAV is blocking enemy recon. I hear someone. Enemy is taking Charlie. Oh my god. <laughs> There's one above me. I knew I could hear him. I could hear him. Sucker level 15. Yeah, the uh, the current um the Level cap is 15 right now. So that that's about right. I, some people are 16. Karina is 16. I don't even know how. Uh. Ah, come on. You can change to score streaks or kill streaks? Huh. I don't know what I'm currently using. I think I think I have it as kill streaks. We gotta get these guys out of B. This area is so locked down. I might have to bring a shotgun back out. Yeah, we know you're sitting there. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, I did not mean to slide and stop the shooting. <laughs> PS4 advantage, baby. Yeah, I'm, I am on PS5. What you're watching is PS5 right now. Why me? <laughs> Had the streak going. How are the maps so far in Modern Warfare 2? You know, uh, let's just put it this way. I'm looking forward to uh, the full game and some other maps. Ooh. Okay, okay. Like, what was that, bro? Oh, okay, okay. So maybe the level 16 thing is a PS4. I get it, I get it. This is the pre-order beta. It's going to be going public for all PlayStation players tomorrow. And then obviously next weekend is the uh, the open one for everyone. Recent player list had someone at level 79? <laughs> what? Dude. Pixar didn't happen. I want to see that. Be hilarious. Gets access to the intervention somehow. I know you're there with a shotgun, bro. I got to be careful. Oh my, Ooh, dude just plopped in. I love having quick fix. I actually mix, uh, miss quick fix. Oh, I was just going to say, I feel like I, I won't die mid streak as often. Uh, see Karina, I can't tell if you're joking or not. 
We don't have a sarcasm font. <laughs> it could be a PS4 thing. I mean, who knows? Because I'm here on PS5. I can't get to level 16. You're having like all the glitches and funny shit happen to you instead. <laughs> Another one? There's another one. God, that, just die! If you would have died, then I could have possibly gone to the other guy and had that the quad feed, man. Oh, Isaac, thanks for the super chat. <laughs> God bless Quick Fix. Quick Fix is pretty amazing. Ugh. I had the dead silence, dude. Maybe they have the the bird's eye. I always wonder when people have their uh, like their UAVs or or their uh, their ultimate perk. I don't know if the game makes any kind of announcement like the enemy's got bird's eye. <laughs> Found someone who's level 73. Oh! Oh, I think I got that guy. Whew. Finally a range kill, look at that. Dude, I swear... Ugh, I had those triples, and I, 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 ugh. I have not been able to get anything since. I want to. Oh, this game's almost over. Yo, we got a cap. We got a cap. Come on. Let's get serious. Yes, there is currently only one sniper in the beta. It is the Signal 50. I think after this, I'll probably try to use some of the other secret guns. Because, like... I'm gonna be like wanting to use the MP5 so badly and hit with it, and it's not a great idea. I, I don't think the MP5 is that great. One thing I was gonna say is that uh, the MP5 in this game I feel like is not as good as um, as Modern Warfare 2019's MP5. That thing slaps. Oh, also, we got trip capped at the end. What is my team doing? It's the bottom half. Ooh, the kills and the lack of caps, but it's all good. It's all good. How do you hold your pistol in primary at the same time? So I, I was trying to figure that out too because that was really cool. Like you got like this SMG, but you could like quickly pull out the pistol. I actually thought that was hilarious on yesterday's stream. Um, so it turns out that I think that is maybe purely based off of the weapon you're using. I think you have to be using the FSS Hurricane, which is, uh, it looks like the M4. I thought it was really just the M4, but it's not. But yeah, um, before I forget, let me show you guys how you actually get access to some of these weapons that you can't normally get access to. So like I was saying before, and I might have to delete a class, or... Uh, do I have to? Yeah, I think I'll delete this one. We'll, we'll, we'll get rid of this class, we'll make a brand new one. So like I was saying before, um, kind of more at the start of the stream. Actually, let me let me get a quick little sip of G Fuel, code mark 30% off. <laughs> I was actually just really thirsty, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um... So these were the classes I had, pretty standard classes, F-TAC, Recon, AK-74U, and the shotgun. Trying to hit the feeds with them, but obviously I was like, we're kind of limited here. Trying to go for the quad feeds in the beta, try to hit as much as I can, but you, you really can't use that much. And it was at a point where it's like, okay, for custom classes, I've used all I can use, which is like four guns. Now it's time to start using the default classes. But then Karina had told me, that out of the blue, she just had access to like the Lockman 556. And then she started getting all these other guns. She got like an LMG. She was like, oh, I got the M16. I'm like, how do you have these guns? So uh, for her, it just kind of came naturally. Like uh, it just, it just happened because it can happen. You can actually just get these guns without even knowing it. But there's a method to do it. If you're like me who didn't have any luck and, and you're like, you have no clue how that happens. So go to, go to create a loadout, make a brand new one and start with Hunter Stalker. This will also allow you to have Dead Silence on your creator class if, if you want to do that. Select that. And they did change the class. So you have to change the perk package. The, and you have to have Overkill. You can't do this without running Overkill. Until you unlock the M16 and the MP5. Then you can pick those specifically. But to start this off, you got to have Overkill. So run it as a base perk. Make sure it's equipped. Make your primary weapon. Wait, the, what the... Oh, hold up. Yo, this class. What just, what just happened here? That's so weird. Yo, Bomber, thanks for the super chat. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying the game so far, but that's actually really weird. What happened here? Because we have a shotgun now. Maybe if I switch to the hurricane. Then we put the shotgun on. 
And then you should be able to equip the Lockman, but that's weird because earlier I didn't have any issue with that. In theory, you're supposed to be able to get access to the Lockman 556. I don't know if they actually uh, fix that or not. Really weird. But that's how you, uh, like, initially, that's how I got access to the Lockman 556. And then when I leveled it up, it levels up, like, the weapon level goes up and you get access to more receivers, which is how you get the other guns. So as you progress, you'll get access to the M16, which I think is kind of towards the end of the leveling. Um, you'll get access to the Lockman sub, and you'll get access to two LMGs. You get the uh, 556 Icarus and the wrap. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's... A lot of it is based on the platforms. Oh, put the shotgun on before you put overkill on? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, okay, so I might have goofed that up. Let's try this over again. Sorry, boot that. So, again... Trying it from the beginning. We'll we'll kind of go through this in case anyone's like on their PlayStation, they're watching the stream and they want to like get this going. So, all right, create a loadout. Hunter Stalker. Nice. Before you go to the perk package, make sure you have the shotgun as your primary. Why? That is not a shotgun. Oh, that was weird. Also, Jamie, thanks for the super chat. Why do they have the guns locked anyways? I don't know. I think they were potentially... They're either trying to like show us what the guns are... And keep us in suspense and like have the hype going. But you can get around it. And this is how you do it. But yeah. So we have the shotgun on first. We have a pistol secondary. Now, in theory. When I go back to the, the perk package 3. It has overkill. You have to have overkill to do this. Some of the... Okay, so I wanted to say too. Some of the weapons are locked because you have to get to a certain level. But some of them are actually locked with no level requirement. So it's one of two things. Either... They are just teasing us, and you can't actually use any of these guns, unless you do this method. Um, or, the level cap actually will go past 30, and that's where you're going to get those guns, and they're, they were trying to be secretive about it. I, I don't know exactly what their intention was, because I don't think they're going to say anything, but... Anyway. So, perk package 3, overkill. That's what I created. If you don't have perk packages made, you can either just make one there, or you can use a default one that runs overkill. But yeah, you can see, it just automatically put the Lockman 556 on my class. This thing is locked, and you can see, right there, it does not have a level that you, that it says that you unlock it at. So, yeah, very, very strange, but that's how it's done. Um, I don't know if the, they would... Like, uh, if this is that serious of a thing, I don't think they're going to wipe classes. I don't know if they would necessarily patch this method, but that's how you get it on your class. So if you guys want to do that, you can. I know that the next weekend of the beta, the level cap is 30. I get that. But I want to show you guys something. When you look at the creative class here, the Lockman 556, pardon the pun, is locked away. And it does not have a level. Now, if you look at the TAC-56, which is the SCAR, everyone was asking me, like, how do you get access to the TAC-56? You can't. Until next weekend, when you can get it unlocked at level 30. That's what it says right there on the menu. Um, same thing with this gun, the Lockman 7.62, uh, which kind of looks like the FAL. Uh, this is unlocked at 16, so, like, the second that the, the next weekend goes and they raise the level cap, you'll be able to get access to this thing. Um, MP5, okay, yes. Yeah. So, if you're wondering how you get the MP5, when you do this method... And you have the Lockman 556 unlocked. And it's on your class. You have to start using it. You have to grind this thing up to level 19. And then to get some of these other guns, you have to keep using them and leveling them up. Oh, that's a G3? Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> I was gonna say, FAL G3, they're like, they're, they're so similar to me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Everyone's like, G3, G3! Oh my god. Yeah, that's, that was a new move. I'm sorry about that. I think it's because I was playing Modern Warfare before the beta as well. I was using the FAL a little bit, so it's like it was on my brain. But yeah, no, that's a G3. <laughs> yeah, uh, Fennec SMG, the Fennec 45, is at 25. So yes, you, we will be able to unlock this for next weekend. The Expedite... Well, okay, that's already there. These, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe these were going to be unlockable. I don't know. But then, okay, so we have the MK2. We will be able to get this... Um, at level 23, but then there's this one, the LMS, and I have no clue how to get this one. Um, I'm very curious to check it out. Although its damage is lower than the MK2, but you get 10 rounds. I'm, I'm curious about this one. Um, and then, of course, there's the Signal 50. You unlock it at 20. That's the other thing that's kind of infuriating as well, is that um, 
and maybe this will change once you they're unlocked and we have them for next weekend maybe it will be different um but the weapon levels for some of the guns are just locked at one like the the Seiken mg38 i'm not touching this thing because there's no point to you like you can't get attachments you know you, there's no sense of progression with this lmg and like some of these other guns so yeah that, that's just my take though that's how you do it um once you have the lockman 556 just start using it when you unlock those other guns you can start using them as well so hopefully that helps i hope you guys are able to uh to, to get it going and and try out some other guns because you know I don't think everyone wants to have to be stuck using an M4 or the Hurricane the entire beta. You know what I mean? Yeah, Signal 50 is definitely the links from Ghosts. Which I actually think it's pretty sick. I I had fun using it. Even though the like the default build is kind of slow. But that's what I was going to say though. Like I would probably enjoy sniping in this beta more if I could put... like well, Granted, you're going to have to wait till next weekend. But once you can have it on Create a Class, if you could get attachments and then make a faster build... And yeah, I know the Fenix in the default class. I know. I had some good luck with the Fennec yesterday. Let's just uh, put it that way. Yeah, glad you're enjoying the stream. I was gonna say that's what's so nice. Like, I I really enjoyed the stream yesterday. It was it was so hype. We had so many people watching. We made it onto the trending section of gaming, which was just it was awesome. You guys were super supportive, and it's just nice because I'm able to just sit down and play more. I, I do want to get, I, I want to try to actually, you know, get some videos done too, but I'm just, for now, I'm just really enjoying just playing the game. Yo, let's hit the shotgun quad. Let's go. Right up the middle. Right up the middle. Ah, I should have gone, I should have gone for the flank first. Gotta learn the hard way sometimes. But we got the tube. Come on, I want to get the cross map new tube. Like, sort of cross map. Be hilarious. Oh, we got the hit marker. He's scared. He's shaking in, all, in his boots on the ground. Oh. Wait. I could have sworn I heard him. Who wants to challenge it? Oh. Oh. I know you're there. Woohoo. Good to, good to take B? You. Yeah. Ah, come on. Sean, thanks for the super chat. How many years on Cotton still going strong, not selling out? I appreciate that, man. Here to the right. Oh my god! No, oh, he was closer than I thought. <laughs> dude, that dude was flying. Let's go. Favorite perks to use? Um. So when I'm not using the the secret gun classes, which require overkill, I like double time EOD, uh, quick fix or fast hands, depending on the class and the gun, and uh, bird's eye. But that's the whole thing too, though, is that like, and I really do like this about the game, but. Some of this stuff is very situational. Like, you're going to want to use other perks or other um, bonus or ultimate perks depending on what you're playing. Or what gun you're using, too. Like, I don't know if I goofed it up in this class. No, I did, yeah. I think... Oh, no, 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 no. Because uh, for the shock, the shotgun reloads really slow. And ideally, you would actually have fast hands on instead. So, I made a couple of different perk packages so I can kind of adapt. Oh, that was terrible. Yikes, up. Oh. Also, that dude was waiting with the shotgun. The middle of this map is going to be so brutal. Because of shotguns. But, that's the whole thing is that depending on where you go, uh, different weapons will have uh, different chances of success for sure. Oh, and, yeah, I know you have to level up the receivers. That's how it's done. <laughs> I got that dude weak with a noob tube. I don't know if I just killed that guy or not. Uh-oh. I think it's just a hit marker. Oof. She's still waiting there with the shotgun, man. Enemy is securing Charlie. 
Oof. Want another M16 feed? Ah, oh, it's the shotgun guy. Plus, I'll miss like all those shots. Don't push with the M16 like that. Oh my god. It does not go well. Oh my god. Are claymores still a thing like Modern Warfare? Um, so I think the only way you can get a claymore in this game is if you run the default sniper class. And they, they're they pretty strong. What? Did he go inside? Yo, I, I should have missed that. That guy's having a field day with his shotgun in the middle of the map. I, I gotta say. It is making this map super unplayable. At least the lobby. I'm trying, man. Someone's asking, how do you donate? Uh, so, on YouTube, there's Super Chat. They also got, like, uh, su uh, Super Stickers and stuff like that. Should be there somewhere. Ooh. More? Ah! They didn't want to come to B. They know that what can happen there. Yo, that man. Oh. Woo! Shotgun Quaffy, let's go, boys! Woo! That is how it's done! Woo! Oh, I'm hyped now. I'm, I'm fucking hyped now. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> That's what we've been waiting for. And the noob tube kill. <laughs> Let's get some quad feet hype. Caleb, thanks for joining Boost Bunglers. Let's go. Oh, dude, I'm hyped. That shotgun quad was beautiful. That guy was just standing around in spawn. Oh. That's what I needed. I haven't had luck like that in quite a bit. I needed that. I really needed that. Oof, that shotgun hit marker. <laughs> that was hype. Um, Karina, if you can, can you please give a bookmark for when that quantity was hit? <laughs> That'd be dope. Cross map tube. You know, I'm, I think I'm just going to start firing cross map tubes randomly and see if I can get a kill. Also, yo, I was literally just texting a UAV to, to come into the map as I blasted that man with a shotgun. Your package. Stay away. Give me a gunship, gunship. Redemption. Oh, he's coming. Ah, oh, not the bomb drone. Hold up, hold up. Let's throw it up. This thing's so goofy. This little shotgun camper. <laughs> it was the shotgun camper. I'm so glad. Let's get in here. Come on. Come on. I don't know what else is coming. Let's get B. Ah, oh, got me in the back. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the uh, the bomb drone. Granted, I'm just running care package, but it's pretty good for wiping out campers. I like that. Like specifically, if there's one person in the match that's bothering you, you can you can just go right for them. Oh, excuse me. All right, cross map tube. You know, just like Modern Warfare 2019, it doesn't seem like it's actually going to travel, like, completely across the map. But, you know, full game comes out, we'll have Mythbusters, don't worry. We will figure all that out. Is the game fun? I mean, I, dude, I'm having a blast. I've been having a blast. It's been good. Direct impact. Oh, I don't want to direct impact that, dude. I, I really want to get him. I want to get him so bad. What was I expecting? He's in the exact same spot. I gotta get this guy. I want to. Come on. Oh. Wait, maybe I can just get him like that. Okay, we got the hit marker. They have a cruise missile? Uh-oh. Oh, he's not standing there. Come on. Oh my god. Wait, 
Is this guy still up here? Ooh. Yeah, one thing I wasn't too sure about, I think it depends on how it works, but the noob tube might actually be able to help me get an M16 quad feed. Like, just imagine getting a triple, and then you just switch to the noob tube for the, the last kill. Oh. That'd be dope. Ethan, thanks for the super chat. It says thanks for the morning stream. Keep it up. Greatly appreciate it, man. How's the skill-based matchmaking so far? Ah, I mean... Oh, we got play? Yes, the shotgun play. Please don't break. Please don't break. This is so good. I broke! <laughs> Why does it always have to break, man? But yeah, I was going to say... um, Skill-based matchmaking... It's kind of hard to say. You know, we're in a beta. And everyone's trying to figure things out. So you're going to find some people who are like... You know, not as good at Call of Duty, but then there's going to be people who are like, you know, you got some beasts in there as well, so. Kind of hard to say. It, You know, it's, uh, you get a mixed bag, for sure. I feel like some lobbies I play are like, you know, they're like decently easy and stuff. And then some of the lobbies, they're... I, I played some pretty tough lobbies yesterday, for sure. Like, it got to a point where I, I played some actually pretty rage-inducing lobbies. But it's all good. That's, that's just part of Call of Duty. I think everyone, like, I... I was gonna say, I think everyone wants to play easy lobbies. You know, everyone wants to be... Everyone wants to just pub stomp and play people... Like, play against people who are worse than them, but... To some degree, that's also gonna get... Like, that, that has to get boring, right? Like, I, I think it's just good to have that mix. I think th what... And this is why I always preach like the con uh, connection based matchmaking or like connection being the highest priority or having a server browser is because the randomness is what's always made Call of Duty fun though. Like you don't want to go into every single lobby or get on every single day and, and you know exactly how it's going to be. I think that's the thing that's kind of annoying about skill based matchmaking from previous games is that the first game you play like everything's like fine and dandy. Like usually the first game's always good and then it always gets worse from there. And I, I really hope that that's not the case with this game. Because I just don't feel like that is a good look for the game, or like... Yeah, I, I, I just, I don't think that, that is, that's a good mentality to have, is like, Oh, I'm gonna play one game today, then get off, because the skill-based matchmaking is gonna kick in immediately, and then it's just gonna suck from there. Like, that's not fun. Like, I can understand why skill-based matchmaking isn't gonna go anywhere, but... At least don't have it play out like that. No one wants to be in the mindset of, like, they're going to play one good game for the day and then get off. Because I thought the whole point of uh, skill-based matchmaking is that it helps player attention. It shouldn't be hurting it. it. shouldn't be encouraging people to want to play one game and just not play anymore. Or, you know, even worse than that, be reverse boosting. Go back for B. Oh, got him. Uh, I have no idea what your name is, but thank you for the super chat. I'll just uh, say Bjorn, because I see a little bit of that. Do I think that Dead Silence on Recharge encourages slower gameplay? Um, so, you know, that's the thing that's interesting, is that being able to hear footsteps, I feel... It, it's weird, because I like to be able to hear footsteps, but... I think what it does to some people is it makes them not want to move around because they don't like being heard. Like, they want to be able to run around the map and not have everyone listening to their footsteps. So, but, like, that's weird to me because, like, the way I interpret it is that I don't care. I don't care if people can hear my feet because that's just part of playing a Call of Duty game where there's rushing. Like, people are going to hear your feet. So what? Outgun them. Beat them. You don't need to be, like, posting up and camping as a result. But that's how some people interpret it. So... They end up playing the game a lot slower. I think it's a matter of perspective. I, I I know a lot of people want Dead Silence as a perk. Like, they just want to be able to equip it, have it as a perk, run around the map, and rush, and not be heard. I, I feel like having it as a field upgrade makes you think more about how and when you should use it. And I, I do agree with that, because pop Dead Silence when you want to get a streak going, basically. It's kind of the same thing with Battle Rage, you know? That's They've just looked at it differently, for sure. So, you know, when it comes to the conversation of whether, uh, like, whether one way is, uh, like, better or worse than the other, that's, I feel like that's just up to opinion. 
Also, Caleb, thanks for the super chat. I appreciate it, man. The secret gun? I've been using the secret guns. You can't just normally get the MP5. You can't be loading this up and playing with the MP5. In case you need a refresher, I'll, I'll go back to loadouts. Ooh. Oh, we just got the quick fix too. Come on. Can I get some help here, B? Oh. Someone's coming from there. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Let's push him. He went up there to camp. Ah, there was a guy waiting in the back. Dang, dang. Well, we have map control right now. I don't know where they are. What are you doing there? Are they gonna spawn? Oh, they're at sea? Split! No! Ah, what are you doing in the corner, bro? Dude, we almost had the split quad. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I mean, he was waiting for my footsteps. It, it is what it is. But that's the whole thing, is that some people just play like that, dude. You know, they're off in La La Land in a random corner not going for the flags and in domination, so... I, I, I think, uh, it's something that's actually, I feel like it's helped, uh, my opinion on the recent Call of Duty games too, though. Is that, sometimes you just have to accept that people are gonna play however they want to, no matter what you do. It doesn't matter what, like, what perks there are, what field upgrades there are, anything. People just play how they want to, they don't care. Now, obviously, you can, you can try to influence certain things, but that's not always going to have a huge, or, like, massive impact on how the gameplay goes. SCP, thanks for the super chat. What game modes do I want to come back, and what do I think about the, about the hostage mode? So, uh, funny enough, apparently there was a glitch that they fixed yesterday. Um, there was a glitch in the hostage mode. I, I don't even know how you could do it. I, I'm sure someone in chat is going to explain it, but basically you could get the hostage and instantly teleport to the place where you need to bring the hostage. And it had something to do with, like, using a piece of equipment um, while you had the hostage, something like that. I don't know how it was done. If anyone in chat knows, uh, please explain it to me, because I would like to know. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to third person, which is confirmed, uh, along with Ground War. I think both of those are going to be super fun. Um, as far as it goes for other stuff coming back, weirdly enough, I kind of would like to see Patrol from Vanguard come back. I thought that was a good game mode. Um, regardless of my thoughts on Vanguard as a whole game, I like Patrol, so that wouldn't be bad. Um... I would like to see them bring in Global Thermonuclear War, uh, which was a cut game mode from Modern Warfare 2. I'd like to see that come in. I think anything that they can bring back from the original Modern Warfare 2, it, it, it's like, it's a nice nod to the original game. So, I'm, I'm all up for it. Obviously, gun game. I think that goes without saying, but I'm... Whoa. Yo, I got, like, stuck on that ledge for a second. Wow, got pro players in here. Woo, the headshot. Bro, we're putting a sentry gun down. We gotta do something about that. Oh, he's standing around waiting. Uh-oh. Dude, I don't know why it flashes. Like, I know I could be using, I think, Battle Hardened, but flashbangs mess you up. Should I get in here? Come on. I know, uh, I know you're there. Dang it. <laughs> the MP5 sounds like Cold Wars? Hmm. Oh, yes. I mean, Spec Ops is coming back. No zombies. But, I mean, I think zombies needs a break, especially after Vanguard. With how all of that went, it's very clear that Treyarch needs... They need, they need a breather, you know? How's the beta? I, I, everyone asks how, how I'm... Enjoying the beta. I, I am very much so enjoying the beta. See if we can get those guys out of there. I think they're camping. Oh, no, he, he's just down there. It's interesting how they play the other side of the map where there's not a flag in domination. It's funny how that works. Don't want to get the flanking machine. Ah, come on, we're getting flanked, team. Let's get some control back on here. Also, yo, I don't think I've uh, spent a whole game using an LMG, like one of the secret ones. 
So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna use the Rap H next game. <laughs> Jump right into it, bro. Got a receptionist over here. Uh oh. Ah, I gotta commit to the reload. Commit. I'm actually camping here. I work here now. I'm sorry, you're gonna have a book a room here. You're gonna have to use a credit card. We do not accept Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, everyone's gonna be asking me how, what I think of the beta for sure. You know, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, I don't know if it should happen after both weekends of the beta, but obviously I think having like a beta review or like uh, first impressions, like a video, like an actual video and just talking about it would be a good idea. But I feel like I need to kind of gather my thoughts because my brain has just been like, let's stream the beta, let's go for the quad feeds, I'll be making some content and stuff, but as far as it goes for, you know, uh... Like, feedback and stuff like that. I actually haven't even considered that. I've just really been enjoying the game. But, obviously there are some things that are a little off or uh, certain things I might want to see tweaked. So, I, I gotta consider that as well. Woo! Thought for sure I was gonna have that. Thoughts on the map sizes? Yeah, so, um, the maps are a little bit bigger than I, I feel like I typically like. It would have been interesting to see if we could have gotten like a uh, a smaller medium sized map. All of the maps are I feel like are in that medium to large kind of range, at least for how six v six plays out. Oh my god, dude. Whew. Quick fix me up. I heard the feed. I knew he was there, but there was like a bunch of other people coming from a different area. <laughs> How many maps are there? Um, so we've had four maps, but they've been in rotations. Um, we, I, I don't think Museum is uh, one of the maps of the day. It, they've been kind of changing it. Like yesterday, they took... Uh, how did that go? Forgot which... Uh, they put this map in the game and they took out Museum, I think. And I think that's what's currently going on again. Is we have this map, but we don't have... Um, we don't have the museum map. This is hotel. But, you know, weirdly enough, this is like the hotel map in Vanguard. <laughs> How am I not realizing that? I wonder if that was even intentional. So, I, I've had a little bit of luck on this map. Again, there's a couple of things you have to consider, at least when playing Dom. The flags that you have and the enemies you're playing against. Because... And I don't know why this is the case, because it, and it does get a little frustrating, but there are so many people playing Dom who are not playing objective at all. Like, not even a smidgen. And as you guys know, if you want a good experience in Domination, you have to go for the flags. Like, the spawns are not going to flow, and the, it, the map is not going to play how it really should if there's not a constant fight over the objectives. That's just my take. Oh. Feed time. Oh, I choked that so bad. Oh, I really thought I was doing more damage than I actually did. That would have been an AK quad in a heartbeat. Ooh. Ah, I was gonna say, like, we're not completely out, but yeah. <laughs> Aim for the head! Oh, Karina's saying that they removed market for museum. Oh, it's over. Woo! <laughs> I'm Garbanzo, Garbanzo beans. Yeah, okay, so what happened back there is... I was hoping that the MP5 was going to be better than it actually is. And when I had that third, like the, the third kill in that like mid spray, I thought for sure that guy was going to drop. And then I was moving to the next guy and then I was like, oh, okay, well now it's gone. I'm Brayden, should say hello? Yo, it is so hard to do the Brayden voice when like when my voice is actually going. How's it slouching? <laughs> oh my God. I really hope, like, I end up losing my voice. Um, so when it comes to, f there, there is, uh, kill cam and play the game. It depends on the mode you're playing. Thoughts on the DMZ and raids? Uh, did we, we didn't actually get any gameplay. They just talked about it. But I'm excited for it, though, for sure. 
Uh, please share how does one play against bots? Are we talking about just bad players or literal bots? Because I'm just in streamer mode. That's why you're not seeing full names. But yeah, um, even though we are playing Farm 18, I'm going to try to use an LMG. I think I'm going to be using the Rap H. Which is another one of the secret guns that you can't normally get access to. I'm whooped. Is sniping good? Um, sniping with the, def the default class is a little painful. Here we go. I want to try to rush real quick. Maybe we can hit another shotgun quad. I'm doing it differently. Oh, and, ah, see, now that guy's... Ah, come on, dude. I, I, will, I learned from last time I was going to go right, try to get someone close range, then get the flank at B, and then go from there, but that, that guy had me beat. So, yeah, this is the Rap H LMG. What kind of attachments? I thought I had a thermal, but no, this is just like a little ACOG site. Ziv, thanks for the super chat. Yep, we, we're streaming again. We're going. Got that Modern Warfare 2. I don't know what I'm saying. They already got a dude in spawn. Wait, was that the same guy with the MP5? Nah, that's someone else. Okay. Is th This isn't the Negev from CSGO. It might just be the grip that I have on it because I have like this side grip. Maybe it is the Negev. I don't know. Come on. Ooh. I don't know if we have quick fix on this class. I hope so. Gonna need to get that bonus perk. Oh, he's jumping, bro. Ah! <laughs> I was not ready for that. Oh, it's the HK21. So you're like, what was that spawn? This this carpenter dude who's using the MP5? Oh my goodness. Get out of our spawn, bro. Let us live. We need to breathe. Oh, I can hear him now. Death from above. Oh, that's someone else. Okay. Not as satisfying. Ah! Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, is that the guns look like different things depending on uh, what games you've played, I feel like. Or what you know. Boom! Bye-bye. I love that this shotgun can do that up close. It's satisfying. Oh, he was waiting. He knew. I didn't know you could stand there. Wow. Michael, thanks for the super chat. What do I prefer, current or older prestige modes? I prefer older prestige. And I... They haven't talked about progression. It's something that's still kind of unknown. I'd imagine they're probably going to stick with the seasonal prestiges. Um, I, I would like to see old prestige return, though. Oh, oh I didn't make it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the whole thing with prestiging back then is that there was, you know... There were supposed to be essentially pros and cons to prestiging. Like, there was going to be some kind of trade-off. And with, like, seasonal prestiges, it just feels like a never-ending grind of leveling up. And I I don't know exactly what the rewards are, because I don't keep up with that. Like, it just... it To me, it doesn't hit the same, so I, I don't really, like, care that much about um trying to hit, like, max level every single season or something like that. Like, that's, that's kind of ridiculous. Excuse me. Will I stream more often? Uh, I'm hoping to. Oof. You know, I don't think the LMG is a bad choice, but maybe not my number one pick for this map. Also, I did not realize there was a guy hiding there. I uh, know I'm not playing against bots. I'm on streamer mode. That's why the names are always the same. What am I using to play? You mean to say controller? I'm just using default default PS5 controller. I would be using the PS4 scoof, but you can't use a PS4 controller on a PS5 uh, game. 
I, now, I don't know if that's the choice of the developer or if that's just how PS5 games work, but I wish there was some backwards compatibility there. That'd be nice. Let's go first. -y. Let's get it. I don't know why I thought that was a teammate. <laughs> are there any OG maps at all? Um, I mean, not currently in the beta, no. These are all new maps. We have uh, Farm 18, which we're playing now. There's the museum map. There's the hotel map. And then the uh, Mercado, which is the market map. What, what's my favorite map that I played? Mm, I really like playing market. Farm is good for certain situations. But sometimes it also just plays out pretty terribly. Oh, wait, hold up. More. Please, please, please. Oh, we got the split feed. Oh, let's, I don't know if I had anything with the wrap. Dude, I, I'm just aiming. They don't want to come out. They're scared. All right, we got to reload this 100-round beast. It's going to take a couple seconds. Let's get some hype. We got that split, split LMG feed. I had no expectations using it on this map. And then they all just piled out. Let's go! Honestly, I don't know if I have anything with the rap age. That was pretty hype. They just got mowed down. There we go, there we go. Alright, we're gonna hide here. Oh, this is what they're talking about. You can't, like, go completely in the corner and hide. But I want my care package. Give me a gunship. AC-130, come on. Something I don't deserve, please. Yes? No, oh, it's just UAV. <laughs> True. I mean, I'm excited to see the other snipers. I hope we get to see the intervention come back. That'd be dope. They have to have the intervention. Like, let's be real. It's Modern Warfare 2. Is it really Modern Warfare 2 if there's not the intervention or, or the UMP? Even the SPAS-12? Like, there's, there's just certain guns that have to be in this game, you know? I agree. Seeing the links is interesting, though. Karina was saying, I don't know if uh, other people feel this way too, but there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, t like, I guess, conversation around the idea that this game kind of feels like Ghost 2. Like, if we got a second Ghost game. I don't know if that's just the weaponry or, like, the aesthetic of the game, but. I can kind of see that. After replaying the Ghost campaign recently on Nerd Plays, like. It's pretty clear that they wanted to go for something that felt like, like, kind of more tactical or more realistic. But, it didn't really come across that way to the community. We're flying. Bre Brenna, huh? I don't know if that's Brenna Hannah or Bre Brenna Hub, but thanks for uh, joining Brayden Slouchers. Have a nice slouch. Thanks for joining the channel. Shotgun time. Dang it. <laughs> yes, this is a YouTube stream. It's live. We're live right now. The audio feels like ghost. Okay, okay. Oh. No. Who the markers? <laughs> there ain't gonna be any ghosts. <laughs> I guess not. I guess the honey badger in the full game. Mount! <laughs> it would not let me. <laughs> what gun is this? This is the uh, the Rap H. One of the secret LMGs that you get by doing the little thing that I was talking about recently. Again, uh, for trying to figure out how you get these guns, I'll have a timestamp in the description once the stream is over. Uh, for any part where I was talking about how you do this. Uh... What are you doing there, man? There is an automatic pistol, yeah. Um, it's it's okay. Pistol-wise, and like going for quad feeds, I don't think I would really attempt the pistols until core. That's just me, because I don't want to go insane. Got people coming to B? Welcome. Welcome. Uh-oh. Quad headshot feed with the shotgun, dude. That would have been crazy. I had two shotguns. Stiff, thanks again for the super chat. 
have I nailed someone with a drill charge yet? I've, I've stuck multiple people with the drill charge. It is hilarious. I'm coming for you, bro. Get in range. Die. How are you not dead? My god. Ah, come on, man. He's waiting. Yeah, overall thoughts so far for Modern Warfare 2, though. I'm really enjoying it. Ah, there are a couple of there. Try an execution. I got an execution earlier. I think it was actually my first execution. I did not... It wasn't something I was really, like, trying for or going for. But I got it uh, earlier in the stream. Michael, thanks again for the super chat. Um, what size monitor... Do I play on it and what's my preferred system? So, um, I do prefer playing COD now on PC, 100%. Um, oh my goodness, there were three of them. Um, the mon- I think I'm on a 27-inch monitor. Uh, when I'm doing PC, it does 4K 144 hertz. And that- that- yeah. Uh, like I was saying in yesterday's stream, to prepare for the beta, I actually started playing, um, console Call of Duty. Because- and I- I'm really glad I did because that transition from 144 hertz to 60 is pretty jarring. It's it's kind of like if you play games at 60 FPS and then go back to a game that is uh, locked at 30 FPS. That is brutal. Some people say like, oh, I, don't, I can't see the frame rate. Like, like they don't know what the frame rate is. I, I don't understand how that's a thing. Oh, I got play. Yo, the LMG split quad, let's go. Please don't, it broke. It, it's always breaking. Some things never change. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, um, I was gonna say the PS5 does have support for 120 hertz output, but the beta of Modern Warfare 2 currently does not have it as an option. You can't go in and do that. I'll see if I can find it. Go here to graphics. Yeah, there's uh there's nothing. We have field of view, there's third person field of view, brightness, safe area, all that stuff, and then the post processing. Uh, but we don't have 120 hertz output. That will probably be in the game at launch, but it's just, it's not here right now. Also, oh, dude, I'm so glad I got Market. I've been, I've been dying to play Market. I'm trying to think of what I want to use now, because I've used uh, basically everything. I haven't used the Icarus, but I really don't want to use an LMG again. What could we use? I could keep trying to use the M16, but it's so painful. Maybe I could try to use it some more on market. Maybe I'll get lucky at the start or something. Elliot, thanks for the super chat. <laughs> add the NV4 flatline. Or just add the NV4 to Modern Warfare 2. I mean, the NV4 is an M4. Just like different, like futuristic-ish, I guess. I don't know how anyone would be getting 120 hertz working. There's literally not a setting for it. I just showed you guys the graphic settings, bro. Did I miss something? It's it's gotta be in the graphic setting, right? Oh, oh, I see. You have to change it to performance mode. I guess that would make sense because that pr uh, prioritizes frame rate. But even then, um, when like streaming or recording with Elgato and stuff, I don't think you can actually have that, like on. No one came over here, yo. That's weird. They're gonna take C back? They are. Oh, he was ready. He was ready. Yeah, maybe there's a way to get 120 hertz or 120 FPS, but uh, probably setting your PS5 to performance mode would do it. For my setup and like recording and all that, um, it, it didn't work out for me. But yeah, I, I don't wanna be like giving the wrong information and stuff. It's probably possible, uh, but I just don't think that would work with my current, like, recording and streaming setup. How I've got things going. Ah! M16 is so- it's, like, so brutal. I, I wanna try to use it, though. Alright, we got them at A. That's good. 
Let's hit some noobin tubins. We'll get the dead silence. Oh, we're ready to go. And then they've got the UAV. Uh oh. Come find me. Whew. Ah. That's true, yeah. I mean, um, because I don't think there's support for 120 FPS streaming, right? So, yeah, you guys probably would. Oh, I, th I completely missed that shot, but yeah. Um, I don't think you guys would really be able to see that anyway. That would purely just. Oh my. What? Who? Dude, I should have just kept looking there. I should have kept. Dude, that noob tube bounced off that man and hit another man. Someone please clip that. That was insane. Jorn, thanks for the uh, the super chat. Uh, am, I, am I planning on using cursed guns and gunsmith? Absolutely. Dude, that noob tube ricochet was insane. <laughs> I know it double bounced. Almost had the quad. With a double noob tube. I, I should have just kept looking at that area because I people always come from there, but I just wasn't sure. Also, Jorn, thanks for joining the channel. Have a nice slouch. Thanks for joining Breeding Slouchers. <laughs> that was dope, though. Um, I don't have an exact number on the quads, but it has been really good. Uh, I had a clean shotgun quad er uh, earlier in the stream, but even just off stream, just playing casually, quad feats have been they, they have been plentiful. Oh, that's my teammate. Come on, help me today. What are you doing? Get back here. I'm new giving you. Ah! <laughs> M16 is the secret gun. Uh, again, there'll be timestamps in the description. You can see how you do it, how you get access to these guns, because otherwise they're locked and you can't use them. I was really hoping I was gonna get the burst on that guy. Wizkid, thanks for joining the channel. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy Braden Slouchers. <laughs> this didn't hit this man. What? Huh? Ah! I was really hoping the drill charge was gonna like stick to him. There's aim acceleration. I don't know what that means. Oh, they got the decoy. Dude, stop falling for the decoy. Ah, oh, okay, you got me from there. The recoil seems like a bit much. Keep in mind that that's heavily dependent on the attachments you put on. I've made some builds of, like, the LMGs and stuff that are, like, uh... Actually, pretty low recoil. And the LMGs, they do have a lot of kick. <laughs> Dude, I'm having too much fun. Oh, there's our first Claymore of the day. Only took two hours of streaming. Someone's sniping, then. Dude, that guy's Claymore really wanted me to take a drink. Stay hydrated. Oh, that was a terrible job. What? It was like, gang. <laughs> Movement speed decreases are heavy. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing is there's going to be trade-offs. That just means you get to camp more. <laughs> also, I like how when you get a noob tube kill, it shows the M16, not the noob tube. Uh, so Karina and I will be playing, I'm sure, after streaming stuff. She's here modding. You can say hello. Ooh. See, I got bonus points. I thought I had a double kill there. About to start freaking out. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are having a good day. Ooh, double bounce again, please. Dude, that's been sick. Oh, that guy's... Okay, he's sitting back. He's sitting back. <laughs> Karina's just like, here I am. <laughs> oh my goodness. Those flashbangs though. I'm I'm starting to think that running a flash is maybe smarter than the shock charge. I just think it's funny to use the shock charge, but my god, dude, that messes up your screen. No! Oh, how did that miss? I hope it was gonna like bounce off the door and come back and hit the guy. 
Buzzkill, wow, okay. Ah! Oh, come on, dude, why am I shock charging? Should've had the guy. That guy's been sniping back there, I need to get him. There you go. Direct hit! <laughs> I love how it says that, that's great. Oof. Another buzz kill. Dude, I'm ending these guys' kill streaks with the noob tube. Uh, I don't even know that tube made it off. Yeah, Karina hit an M4, uh, an M4 quad the first game that we played. What was that? What? That was intense. Yes, I have noob tube the sniper. Let's go. All right, we got it. Nice. We have a flag. Thank God. Wait. Oh, he got sniped. Sniper's back. <laughs> no tubes again. <laughs> I'm not making it easy for this dude. Oh. <laughs> back on the sniper. <laughs> There's only one sniper currently in the beta. I don't think that'll be changing for the beta. Uh-oh, I got stuck. <laughs> we, we dead. <laughs> Yes, uh, you can kind of do parkour. You know, it'd be interesting to see if there's a map that's actually going to kind of essentially have more parkour-like features. The flashbang, there it is again. It's a teammate. It's an enemy. How many years am I going to play this before a rip fit? Dude, I, I mean, I don't know. How am I? I can't see the future. I don't know. I never made one for Modern Warfare, though. But part of that's because I feel like Modern Warfare never died. So many people still play Modern Warfare and Warzone, you know? But I was gonna say, uh, part of, like, the main reason, actually, uh, why I didn't end up doing that is because I didn't have time to. Karina and I moved. <laughs> Beluga Tortuga, thanks for the super chat. I'm doing good. How about you? That name is hilarious to me. Partially because there was like a... Oh my god. What was it? Like a... Uh, beluga... Kachuga Lachuga Beluga. Or something like that. Oh. I hate it when that happens. Yo, that's a weird error that starts happening too. You'll, you'll be like mid-streak and it'll just... You'll get like a, a Lua error or something. Like the game is running out of memory. So it just freezes you there. I think it happened yesterday on stream too. Kachuga Lachuga Beluga. Kachuga Lachuga Beluga. Rappers nowadays. Kachuga Luchuga Baluga. <laughs> Ooh, I got you, buddy. Skippy, come on. Take it. Wait, was that a. Did the decoy just pretend to throw a. a, a like a stun or something? That was weird. <laughs> Karina says, so extremely delayed rip. Or, uh, goodbye, Modern Warfare 2019 win. Is it even worth it at this point? <laughs> I mean, because I gotta do... I gotta make Rip uh, Vanguard. That'll be a lot of big projects, that's for sure. Where are you? He's over there! Wait, ah, uh, okay. I think I started pushing the wrong way. There's the sniper. Oh my god, bro! There's the claymore. Oh my. These guys play so weird though. Oh, a teammate almost got an MP5 quad. Maybe he did. I missed the, the one kill. Just spray down here. They'll walk into it. Now they won't. Dang it, man. You enjoying prisoner rescue? Okay, okay. I, I enjoyed playing it, but I only played one match of it, because ultimately I, I need to be in the respawn uh, game modes for the feeds. I I was not a huge fan of the other one. Was it Knockout? Yeah, Knockout uh, didn't go well for me. I played it twice, and it was bad both times, so I haven't been back on that since. But yeah, we won that game. Yes, um, so far in the beta, there are still disbanding lobbies. I wish the lobbies would stay together as well, but it, it is what it is. Fan <laughs> card lasted like two months. 
Dude, I actually, I have less time on Vanguard than I did on Infinite Warfare. And I actually played a lot of Vanguard when they dropped the laser gun. Which is, that's just like kind of crazy to me. Like, it took a laser gun being added to get me to play more. But even then, I don't have more playtime than Infinite Warfare. So, I don't know. This banning is better for balancing teams. Yeah, I know, I know. It's it's the skill based matchmaking though. That's that's why it happens though. We got market again. Oh wait, oh this is mid game. Uh oh. Oh, what are you doing to me, Call of Duty? We'll bust out the Lockman again. Mid game. That's not a good sign. Climb. Woo. Oh, he was still over there. Okay, okay. Barely have 24 hours in Vanguard. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. I, I barely got to two days, so... Hey there, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, like, I think a day, 19 hours, I think, is, is where I uh, last saw it. Use the knife. There is no combat knife to equip. I don't think you can actually do that. Can someone prove me wrong? I don't know if this is just my take, but yo, the lock in 5.56 is nice. I think this is the growl. It's the growl of the game. Yeah, this thing's been nice to me. Oh, why do they have a chopper gunner? Why? They put me in this kind of game. Yeah, we're about to get destroyed. I think the chopper gunner is, uh, is better than the AC. Yeah. Chopper gunner, please don't find me. Our team is just like stuck back here. Where is everyone? No! Solo cap and B. What did it do? They got a jug. Oh, come. <laughs> Where's the noob tube? I need the noob tube back. Yo, we, we got to deal with, uh, with the noob tube now. Hey, Bryce. Thanks for joining the channel. Welcome to Brayden Slouchers. Have a nice slouch. Bro, let's get a jug back. Come on. Care package jug. We got we to gotta fight this one. That was close. Oh, I'm stuck on a pole. No one find me. We are good. Care package jug, please. Ah! Maybe I can airstrike the jug. Come here, buddy. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, I'm trying to fight that dude out in the open. I want to see the jug. Where are you? Ah! Where is this juggernaut? Let's we'll do an execution on him. Uh oh, never mind. <laughs> I, I know it's not possible, but my god, that'd be so funny to do an execution on the Juggernaut. Or like, if you could attempt it, but then the Juggernaut's just like, no. Stops you from doing it. Well, he was just standing there. Wait, what happens if you uh, shock charge the Juggernaut? Is he just gonna keep shooting? Oh, he just died. Oh, come on. Yo, Mythbusters is going to be great. I cannot wait for Modern Warfare 2 Mythbusters. I see you crouching up there. Hey, Master Killer, thanks for joining the channel. Welcome to Braden Slouchers. Have a nice slouch. All right, I still have this precision airstrike. Oh, also, there's a weird glitch in the game. I, I somehow have a second care package. I don't know how you do that or why that happens, but basically, uh, we got the unlimited care package glitch coming back. That was a thing, I think, right, in Modern Warfare 2, originally? <laughs> I've noticed that. Sometimes I'll get, like, a double care package. It's not unlimited, but you do get more than you actually earn. Oh, okay, we got the bomb drone. Oh! Uh, hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah, the 5.56 five, slaps. The Grow slaps. Um, yes, uh, I already know that you can slide cancel. Wait. Boop. 
I just don't use that. My hands will just be, like, dead if I'm doing that every single time I move around the map. It's just not necessary either. But that's just my onion. Oh. I see you coming up there, dude. Oh. No! <laughs> yeah, open beta for PlayStations tomorrow for PS4 and PS5. See, wait, hold on. Oh, I got a UAV. Call it in? There we go. I hear you. I hear you. Ah, where is that guy? He's like waiting over here. What are you doing? Securing objective alpha. UAE is being I love the music that plays in the middle of the market. Ready to deploy. Another UAV con? Drop it in. I, I gotta get a reload. Bro, I don't know why that guy will not push. Ah, oh, shit. Get off me. Yep. Dead again. Oh, there was another- Oh, he must have had Ghost, yo. I thought I was gonna get the Jug streak going. I actually have Jug on. So if I get a 15 kill streak at any point, it's- it's Jug time. But this game's almost over, though. Bomb drone. <laughs> I, I- I really don't care about the bomb drone. Unless there's someone camping that I know will not move, then I don't really care to actually use it. Oh, it's over. Good game. I got thrown into that one late. It wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to go a lot worse, but we kind of turned that around. Had uh, that, I think, at least one close call with the growl. Aw, oh, no play. Dude, yeah, I joined late. I, I pulled best in there. Not too shabby. Do I recommend this game? I recommend this game if you liked Modern Warfare 2019 and you want more of that. 100%. Yes. Do I think that bomb drone will be better in Warzone 2? I mean, that's going to be, that that's a good question because it has a limited amount of fuel and distance that it can go. So, I mean, how's quad food with every gun going? It's going good. Dude, how many times are we going to get market? It, the game knows I like market, clearly. <laughs> I want to hit though, dude. Had a little bit of a rough time trying to hit on market. I, I think this map, I really enjoy playing. But I've also had my most amount of quad feed fails on this map, and that just, like, it kills me. It really does. What secret gun are we going to use? Let's let's bust out the MP5. Why not? I want to use it some more. Do I think the game is better than Modern Warfare 2019? It's too early to tell. But I, I think we've got a great game here. Ooh, they were ready. They, yep. They know the, the spawn shot. To be honest, going there with like a the MK2 or a sniper is a great idea. But for this stream, I, I'm, I'm trying to solely use the secret guns. I know I had the... I was using the shotgun a lot on farm, but that's because you have to. I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> How many maps in the beta? Um, So far, there's been four, but they've been cycling out uh, in threes. My goodness. Let me do one at a time, please. Level cap is currently 15. Uh, it's going to be 30 for next weekend. It is really easy to get there, by the way. Which I think was intentional. I, I doubt the full game will be like that. Also, JB, thanks for the super chat. Um, But yeah, like, leveling up fast was definitely intentional. That, you know, that way that you're not, like, spending the entire beta trying to level grinds. There, there have been some Call of Duty betas that are like that. Where you really can't progress, you can't get attachments and stuff. Granted, obviously, like, you know, 
like I was mentioning earlier, some of these weapons are kind of like locked away and there is no way to get them other than doing the little method. But um, as far as it goes for just like how much XP you get or how much you need to level up, it, it goes by fast, which is nice. Oh. Where is this guy that's up here? You know, you know this guy's just gonna hide in this building. What? He was, he was like way back there. Jesus. Warzone 2 is November 16th, I believe. You still got a ways to go. Um, so yes, again, if you want to see the method, um, when this, uh, stream becomes a VOD, uh, I will have timestamps in the description of when I was explaining the method, because I, I don't want to have to go, like, oh, <laughs> oh, like, repeat it over and over and over again, you know what I mean? Uh, killstreaks I'm running, I've got UAV, care package, and juggernaut. I was running counter UAV, but I don't want to be that guy. I, I don't want to be the person running counter UAV, because it, it, it kind of ruins the pacing a little bit, you know? Like, I don't want to be playing against people running counter UAV. So, kind of like a karma thing, you know? If you don't want people running counter UAV, then don't run counter UAV, because then you're being that person. If that makes any sense. Plus, you can get some, some pretty good stuff out of the care package. Like, more often than not, you get garbage, but I also got an AC-130. And I got two kills with it. That was, <laughs> that was huge. Come on. Yeah, you know you want to die. You want to die too. Uh. The MP5 reload is too slow. <laughs> oh, hold up. How many people we got there? Nope. The guy with the middle watching the MK, or uh, the guy with the MK2 watching the middle. <laughs> My favorite gun in the beta. Um. I mean, that's the whole thing, you know, going for the quad feeds, I, I'm, I'm not going to have a favorite gun, because I'm using everything. That that includes using garbage, too. Um, the best gun in the game is the AK-74U, um, and I'm, I'm going to refuse to use it. Reason being is because, it's like, that's not really f fun to me, it's just like playing the beta, only using the best gun. I already, I, I will say, I already hit a, a disgusting feed with it. I, I went in with a 74U, but I will not use it again for the rest of the beta. I mean, that's just how it goes. Once the feeds hit, the gun gets put away. JB, thanks again for the super chat. <laughs> phase boost, phase boost is doing good, bro. That's because phase boost is always chilling. Oh, well, yeah, um, M4 is pretty good, too. Yeah, the M4 um, and the AK... I, I feel like both of those weapons, uh, depending on the map and the situation, but they're they're the best guns in the game, for sure. Damn, dude. <laughs> Did come in this match? Yeah, I doubt it. I doubt it. I do have it on in the event that I get a good streak going. Like, um, yesterday when I was streaming towards the end of the last game, I had, um, I had a 19 kill streak. I was, I was really hoping to... To get a nuke, but we found out that, that they actually don't have the nuke currently. Adrian, thanks for the super chat. Have me and Karina seen Arcane on Netflix? We have not. Is that any good? Also, Saros, thanks for the super chat as well. Appreciate you guys. Oh, oh he's up top. That is a nasty spot for watching B. <laughs> Phase boost is going for SMG trick shots soon. No, I'm kidding. I, I have no idea. Oh. Hey there, buddy. Oh, not the flash. Not the flash. No, no, no. We go this way. Oh, I gotta commit to the reload. Ah! Okay. Oh, my God. As far as it goes for feedback, that's one thing I will say. I, I really hope that reload canceling comes back, whether it's uh, YY, triangle, sprint cancel. Committing to the reload when you really don't want to, especially because that's how Call of Duty's been for so long, that is one thing that I wish was different. If we're talking about my rating of the beta being at like 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10, 
I I think I I really would deduct a point for the uh, the lack of reload cancel. Also, wow, man's using last stand. I will dev. Oh my god, dude. I, I've got to actually make a perk package with last stand. Like, I, I want to make basically like the most annoying class in this game. We'll do like a video on that or something. I don't know. You know, that guy was weakened. Adrian, thanks again for the super chat. We'll, we'll have to take a look. We'll have to see. Always interested in uh, checking out new shows. I appreciate the suggestion. I see you there in last hand, bro. Come on, you coming out? Bruh. Don't want my teammate to die. He got the last stand. Oh. I knew you were there. We're killing him right now. Get to B. Oh. Last stand guy. Oh shit. Woo! That was a nasty turn. Ooh. I don't know where I am. Keep the streak alive. Oh. No! <laughs> I had a streak going, man. Well, we got the care package. That's what I'm saying. Always at the end of the game. It's always the, the end of the game when things start going really well for me. I don't know if that will go through and hit someone on the other side, but... Come on. Juggernaut, please. Ooh, cell bomber. Okay, okay. Let's get that to go. Yeah. I hope that's good. Uh. Get him, cell bomber. We got one. We got, oh, we got one person. Okay, yeah, that seems about right. Seems about right for the stealth bomber. Yeah, I think it is really dope that they brought the stealth bomber back. That's like very much so Modern Warfare 2, but also a little bit of Modern Warfare 3 as well. Granted, it was a support streak. Dude, support streak, stealth bomber, Modern Warfare 3, that is so hilarious to me. The fact that it's like, they're supposed to just be support kill streaks, but it's so clearly something that's gonna like blow people up, clear out in like entire parts of the map. That was that was pretty crazy. Mm, there's a guy watching Alley and he's got it there. Woo! Get beat. Is there a guy behind? Oh, there's a guy behind. I need to get in here and get him. Ah! Come on. Yo, I know so many people are talking supply like about supply drops just because like, you know, I get it. It's my channel. We had supply drop openings. Means about supply drops and stuff, but I doubt they're ever coming back. This game will kill Vanguard. Vanguard is already dead. Unless you're just talking about, like, talking about it being more dead than it already is, then yeah. Uh. Woo. Ah! I got that uh, counter UAV. I think the time to kill is actually really good. It, it feels uh, not as fast as Modern Warfare, depending on the gun you're getting killed by. Or what you're using. It's over. Ah, uh, you didn't get me. Ah. <laughs> we got our final kill. Oh, we got another MP5 here? Look at that. Vanguard died when it released. <laughs> oh, man. So much Vanguard slander. <laughs> Switch to Vanguard now? Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> if I wanted to make my day worse, then, then that would be a good suggestion. But, yo, um, we've been going for two and a half hours. And I, uh, I really need some food. And I'm definitely going to be playing more. 
uh, potentially streaming more and definitely want to make more content on this game. Um, but I just want to sincerely thank you guys so much for all the support on this stream and also the last stream too. You guys are amazing. Um, again, if you want to be able to get the secret guns in the Modern Warfare 2 beta, I will have timestamps in the description. Um, basically, at the start of the stream, I explained how you can do it. Um, a little bit past an hour into the stream, I explained how you can get the guns as well. Um, and I, I could do it again, but I, I will have timestamps uh, in the description once uh, this becomes a VOD. Um, also, Adrian, thanks again for the super chat. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, it's an adaptation of League. Okay. I see. I see. But yeah, um, hope you guys have fun playing the Modern Warfare beta, whether it's uh, on PlayStation, you know, today for the pre-order, or if it's uh, later on as the open beta, and also when it goes cross-play, uh, basically next weekend. But yeah, um, uh, I think we're gonna call it here. I gotta get some food. I'm gonna be playing some more, you know, making some more content and stuff. It's an absolute blast, and I I'm so glad that we could hang out and uh, you guys can watch me use uh, these guns. And all that. So yeah, um, thanks for coming out to the stream. Again, uh, code Merc is 30% off of GFIL if you guys want to use that. Um, drop a like if you guys want to see some more streams. Subscribe if you're uh, brand new here. I'll be trying to, to stream some more. Uh, obviously have more content. Um, I'm also considering maybe specifically making uh, like a quick tutorial for how you can get these guns. Because I don't think anyone wants to be stuck just using like three or four guns. I get that it's a beta. But they have this stuff locked away, and you can clearly get access to it. So, I mean, we should all be having fun and enjoying the beta. So, I'm going to leave it there. Um, again, hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Uh, big thanks, obviously, to Karina for modding the stream and hanging out. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, I, I don't know if I'll be streaming again tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, dude, I, I'm, I'm loving the beta so far. And uh, hope you guys enjoy playing it. I hope you guys enjoy the content as well. And I'll see you guys later.